All right, this is the daily video update series for the week of February 5th, I believe. Um, actually, it's February 5th today, uh, so it'll be, it'll start on Monday. Um, I'm out at the Jim Shug Trail. I'm going to try doing this recording on my shoulder again, and, uh, and we'll get started here. I'm hoping that we can set this up so it's aimed a little further up than it was two weeks ago when we recorded some very lovely images of the five feet of trail in front of me. But we're gonna try that aimed a little bit further up. All right. All right, we are running. So this is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Monday, February 8th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair here at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln West, East, uh, which is also uh, Dryden, New York. I'm here um, back on the Jim Shug Trail uh, hiking past Dryden Lake, which is that vast expanse of white out there. Um, it's, it's frozen this time of year and we've had a bunch of snow, uh, so it actually just looks like a giant snowfield. But there is a very beautiful lake under all that snow. Um, it's a little too warm today. I just passed a guy who was coming out to do ice fishing and started out onto the ice and said, nope, that's not for me today. So I think we may be more or less alone out here at the moment. We've set aside Mondays for the last couple months to update the congregation on what's going on with COVID-19 in Lincoln. And these updates are becoming a little bit repetitive because the, the story now is the same as it's been for a while, which is that things are proceeding along in the vaccination campaign in Lincoln. Registration is open. They're working on 1B right now. And case counts are starting to go down a little bit, although the decline in the case count last week may have at least something to do with the big storm that came through because that cut down on the number of tests. So, the message for a COVID-19 update today is the same as it's been for the last couple months. We're starting to see how this pandemic might end, but it hasn't ended yet. So, you need to be safe. You need to wear masks when you're out in public. You need to continue to socially distance. We'll keep posting things online and we'll start planning for the end of the pandemic because it is gonna happen here, just not quite yet. This has been a long, long trudge through the last year. I think that's fair to say. But we said in March of 2020 that pandemics end. And in March of 2021, we will say with even more confidence that pandemics end because this one is about to. I look forward to that day. I look forward to gathering with you all. I also look forward to this trail. <laughs> um, to some of this snow melting because this trail is usually where I run and right now uh, it's still up to about my knees where it hasn't been beaten down by snowshoers or skiers and and that's just a little a little rough to exercise in so we'll walk through it today uh, and I will hope that this beautiful weather warms it up enough to actually come running out here before we head back. All right, uh, with that, I will see you all tomorrow.